What's up guys? For today's video, I'm gonna discuss some lessons in leadership that I've learned and that I think are very helpful if you're a new leader or if you're a leader who's not really getting the results you want. This morning I spent quite a while talking to a friend of mine. And this friend is somebody that I've given a lot of mentorship and coaching to. And he brought it up towards the end, everything that I've kind of done for him, which he's cascaded into other people. And this is really the power of leadership, right? It's not necessarily the direct impact that you have, but the indirect impact that you have down the line. The goal is to be a leader of leaders. So that way you can multiply all the thought processes, all the vision and direction and alignment throughout every layer of what you're trying to accomplish. So getting into it, I have six lessons here. Uh, these are all lessons that I've learned in the last 15 years of studying leadership and applying what I've learned and keeping what works. So the first one, a key point that he brought up today is to eliminate superiority. Being a leader doesn't make you any better than anybody else. It is a different set of responsibilities. Try to very rarely act from a place of formal authority. Really, you want to just leverage informal authority. You want to build trust and respect. You want to give respect. And you don't want to try to pull them up. I would say that the better way to think of it in your mind is to think of the people standing next to you. Think of everybody you're leading as being right next to you. And all you're trying to do is lift them up. You're trying to unlock what it is that they're capable of, their potential. And you're trying to break down their beliefs. These are the next two tips. Really, you want to be you want to provide the launch for those that you lead. You want to lend them confidence and give them beliefs, give them belief in themselves in order to propel them and empower them to take some bolder actions or to face their fears and give them some tools to do so. Give them your perspective on what they're capable of and convince them of what it is that they can achieve. Third, you wanna challenge beliefs. So often in leadership, often in general, if you're trying to influence other people, or I guess this is primarily my goal, people have a very poor perspective of what it is that they can accomplish. They have a ceiling that is much lower than what they're actually capable of. And they live in this box. They live in this box with no windows, no doors, and there's no way to get out. It's this prison of the mind. And what you can do as a leader is start to break this down. Show them the doors and the windows. Show them the options. Challenge the way that they think. Challenge them. One of the things that my friend said today was that I said a lot of mean stuff is the way that he put it. But it was the stuff that he needed to hear. The stuff that I said in order to empower him and enable his growth. If you don't believe that you can do a lot of things and if you don't believe that you're capable of more, you won't grow. It's a limiting belief. And that those are the beliefs that need to be challenged. You want to give them the beliefs that they can achieve more, that they can do more, that they are far more capable. And then ultimately, they need to choose. So it's demanding commitment. I don't care whether or not somebody wants to unlock their potential. I prefer that they do, but ultimately I can't control that. The only thing that I can do is influence it. And I will only make the investment in you is if you accept and choose to be committed to being the best version of yourself. I'll dump a lot of energy into it. I will invest in you versus putting my energy elsewhere. But you need to be able, you need to choose to be committed towards being the best version of yourself. I need to see that in your actions. I need to see that in your behaviors. I need to see that in your consistency, in your reflection. You gotta be doing the work. Otherwise, you're just sapping my energy for no reason. Then we won't maintain that, love, that type of relationship. Five, leadership is not about power. It's about responsibility. As a leader, you're responsible for pulling people up, for unlocking 
and challenging and breaking down their beliefs, their limiting beliefs, for being the launch pad and supporting them in taking the actions to be the best version of themselves, to face their fears, to build confidence, to do things they never thought they could do. You're responsible for the success of your people, the people that choose to follow you. It's not power over them. It's responsibility for them. It's a very powerful mindset. It's probably very similar, I forget the specifics of it, of servant leadership. How can I serve you? Lastly, I wrote this down initially as be a human to humans. And what this really is, is just be understanding. People are gonna go through a lot of different things in life and, and the challenges they face. As a leader, you probably have already been through it. So you need to be understanding. You need to remember what it was like to be there. There's a concept called the curse of knowledge where once we know something, once we're on the, on the other side of having learned it, we can't remember what it's like to not know it. So try to really try, really put in the effort to remember what it's like or just appreciate and have empathy for where they are. Be very understanding. Or if they're going through personal challenges, whatever challenges they might have, it's important to be a human and be relatable. It isn't about solely the constant pursuit of self-improvement or the goals that you might have, but it's life. This is only a piece of it. And it's important to remember that. Uh, a couple key takeaways from these lessons. Respect is one of the most powerful things. If you don't have respect, then it's going to be very hard to have a relationship of influence. If you don't have trust, it's going to be very hard to have a relationship of influence. The role you serve as a leader in people's lives is not to pull them along. I think that's the worst metaphor from my perspective. It's to give them opportunities they never thought they could have and to enable them and empower them to believe that they can achieve the opportunities, that they can be successful in these areas they never thought they could, they could be in, in the arenas they never thought they could be in. These are the lessons that I've learned over the last 15 years. Hopefully they're very helpful to you. It's helped me form very strong relationships. It's helped me support people in being the best versions of themselves. And it's ultimately gave me a lot of fulfillment. I hope this helps. You can't lose if you don't quit.